does this company have the best in beard feeling beard oil on the market today? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back to another video with Beer Times with Scott. I'm Scott, and today we are talking about a company. I'm going to say they're new. They're based out of Utah. Stephen Chandler is the owner of the company. Today we're talking about Primal Origin Oils. They have a website, they have an Instagram, and it's all linked down in the description box below. Stephen Chandler reached out to me quite a while back to do a review on his products. And before I say any more about them, I apologize for my delay. As you guys know, I've been fairly busy, and here it is without further ado. Primal Origin Oils we're talking about today. Stephen Chandler, again, is the owner, based out of Ogden, Ogden, Utah. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. He makes three different oils. He makes them in an original line and a premium line. Now, from his website... It says that the key ingredients in the originals are jojoba, hemp seed, and amla oil. And they're only $10 a bottle. His premium oils are $15 a bottle. Now, what I have in front of me are the three oils. And I have them in the premium line. So I, don't, so I can't really speak for the originals by themselves. But on the good side of it, all those oils are in the premium. So I technically kind of can so he made this company recently, and he was doing it for to help his mother. I don't know the entire story, but I think she was involved in some kind of a car wreck. And I know that all the money that he makes is to help pay for the medical expenses for his mother. If anyone has a problem with that, you're not an American. That's all I'm saying about that. So we're talking about the Neanderthal, Northman, and the Pangea oils today. They all come in a... Glass bottle, which is not amber or amber colored, or it's just a clear bottle. I know that a lot of people frown upon that. Me, myself, no light gets in here, only the lights that are right and behind the camera. So I'm not too worried about it on my end. And it has a glass or a waterproof and oilproof label, the childproof and Scott proof dropper toppers. And how about that? I got it on the first try. The ingredients of these, these are some great carrier oils for you. Raspberry oil, rose hip oil, jojoba oil, amla nut oil, cacua nut oil, chia seed oil, hemp oil, and vitamin E. And you can see that the colorization of this, it is pretty much yellow, which to some people who have the gray, white, or silver beard, that may affect your beard. I can't say... It specifically will. You'll have to test it for your own to find out. And these oils are definitely on the lighter side. That's great because for me, I like a, light, uh, a nice light, light to medium. Sometimes I like the thick. To be honest, for me, it depends on the weather. If it's a humid day outside, I really don't like a, a heavy beard or heavy beard oil or medium I like a light it just depends on the day and who knows I may even change my mind whenever it is so Neanderthal is an unscented one and check out the label and the logo there it has a nice elephant on the label which is cool can never go wrong with any kind of logo with an animal and this is supposed to be an unscented oil I do smell some kind of an oil in here though and I don't know exactly what I'm smelling but I'm smelling a carrier oil of some sort in here. It's not nasty of any kind, but I do get some kind of a product smell of this. And I use this quite a bit, as you can tell. I used about a third of the, about a quarter of the bottle, we'll say. This is a good oil. It's a definitely a good unscented beard oil for you to try. And I will say this. Every, all five of these that I have, I have f five different bottles and I'll explain in just a second. All five of these bottles I've used, the feeling in beard is immaculate. The feeling in beard, this is by far the best in my beard feeling I've gotten from any beard oil that I've used to date. And I really do mean that. I really enjoyed using all these. Two thumbs up for the unscented beard oil. 
Now, let's talk about the scented ones. I have two different sets of them. I have the first batch. This is the Northman we're talking about. Same carrier oils. And the scent profile on this one is a lavender, sage, and a sandalwood. I use this one. This is the first one he sent me. Very, very, very light. And I'm not complaining. I did not know that he had made a different batch of these and he made the scent stronger. And when I sent him the message, and I was being very honest with him, I said, I couldn't smell hardly anything in either one of these. And this is literally like you smell this. When I smell this right out of the bottle, I smell as soon as I take it away. I can barely get a whiff of it. And that's okay. Not a problem. When I smell these, and you can see that I've used this quite a bit as well, it's like night and day. It's like as soon as I put my nose right there, it's right, it's right there. A very clean scent. I get the lavender almost from the get-go. And then after that, the sandalwood comes in, and the sage is like the very last scent that I pick up on. I really do enjoy this. Two thumbs up for this scent. If you're looking for a clean scent, this is one you really need to try. Pangea. This one is a lemon, vanilla, and cedar wood. Again, the yellow coloring, which is okay. I get the cedar wood out of this first batch that he sent me. I really don't pick up on the lemon or the vanilla at all. Now, when I get the second bottle that he sent me, Night and day. Night and day. This is a really, really good woodsy scent. And you wouldn't think that it wouldn't be because there's vanilla in it. I'm here to tell you, the vanilla is just enough to balance the lemon and the cedar, put them together. This is a really, really good combination. One of the best wooded, woodsy scents that I have found for this year. This is a two thumbs up. And this oil alone is probably more than likely going to be in my top 10 beard oils for 2019. I really, really enjoy this. So, $15 for the premium line, $10 for the original line. Is it worth the money? Yeah. $15 is the pretty much standard market average for a one ounce bottle of beard oil. It's right on the money. It's $14.99, but I rounded up to $15. I think all three of these oils are worth every penny. When I put these in my beard, it absorbs right in, and it's almost like I don't have anything in my beard at all. I did not have to add these for a second application. It was just a one time only. And with the first batch, yeah, I couldn't smell them at all. The second time around, the second batch, I used these for eight hours, maybe even longer for the scents. It was a night and day comparison in the strength of the scent. I absolutely love these. Today, I'm giving the Primal Origin Oils two thumbs up and a very solid five-star Beer Times with Scott rating today. Steven, I apologize again for the delay of my video. I really do enjoy your products, and I want to make sure that everybody knows that when you are making a purchase from Primal Origin's website, all the money you are putting towards the purchase, he's putting in towards all of his mother's medical expenses, so you're really helping out for a really good cause. I do recommend that all of you guys that are watching this give this company a chance. They really do deserve it. They are a two thumbs up, a very solid five-star Beer Times with Scott rating. I hope to see more products from this company in the future. Maybe a matching beard balm, maybe even a matching beard butter, or heck, even a mustache wax if he goes that route. We'll see. I hope to see big things from Primal Origin Oils, and I hope you guys give these com this company a try. Their website and their Instagram will be in the description box below. I'd like to thank you all very much again for watching. And as always, keep on bearding and I'll see you in the next one. I would like to thank you all very much again for watching this video. But I wanted to add something into this. If you don't want to participate in this of any kind, you don't have to. As you guys know, my channel is growing bigger and better as the days and the months go by. And I have you guys to thank for it. Unfortunately for me... I'm kind of limited to what I've been using, which is literally the phone that I'm talking into right now. And I'm at the point where I'm going to have to get a, a laptop computer to make my videos better for you guys and my content just as good in the editing and all that good stuff because I'm kind of limited to my phone. And my space on my phone is pretty much shot. 
what I need to do is I need to get myself a laptop. I'm not asking you guys to do this. You don't have to in any way. But if you would like to donate to my channel and for the good cause, I would greatly appreciate it. I will have my PayPal, my personal PayPal, in the description box below. And if you don't want to, you're, you don't have to. Like I said, I've never asked anybody for anything of that nature. But I want to just throw that out there that all the money that any of you all put towards my PayPal, all the money is going towards me getting equipment for my for Beer Times with Scott, which I'm trying to get myself a laptop computer, maybe a nice microphone, and maybe an external hard drive, and maybe one that I can carry with me because I will be using my phone strictly for a camera from here on out. And I'm hoping that all this works out for me in the future. If you guys don't want to donate, you don't have to, but I would greatly appreciate it. And if you do, leave me a comment below or direct message me on Instagram, and we'll talk more about it. Keep on bearding, everybody. I'll see you soon.